Welcome back to TV viewers. Today I am doing a 1v1 between Kyrie Irving and Allen Iverson. Now, personally, I don't think this is a debate. I think that Allen Iverson is clearly the better player, but you are entitled to your opinion, as am I, so don't have a hissy fit in the comment section below, as YouTube is known for. Now, I am interested to hear your opinions, and I would like to actually hear your reasoning. So, if you'd like, leave those in the comments below. But, my choice is Allen Iverson, but this is 2K. 2K is trash, and it's very biased. If you don't know what I mean when I say it's biased, look at any Hornets player. Odds are, that Hornets player has something screwed up about them. Then, look at some of the more popular teams. Those teams have, like, the most one-sided, like, rating systems ever. Like, it's insane. Like, Kyrie's all-time team, he, his, he's an 92 overall, which I'll show you guys in a minute. But he's never been higher than a 90 in 2K. He might have reached 91 once, but he's never been that much higher. So, 2K is really biased, so I'm assuming that Kyrie's going to win this. But he wouldn't in real life, if you ask me. Now, regardless, he is a good player. I'm not trying to, like, bash Kyrie. It's just, like, what the heck? Like, look, 92 overall. It's not really that fair. Ankle breaker, relentless finisher. He doesn't deserve Hall of Fame relentless finisher, does he really? But yeah, he's a good finisher. He doesn't deserve Hall of Fame relentless. I mean, come on. And check out Allen Iverson, though. He's a 97 at least, better than last year. He actually deserves all of these badges, though. That's the difference. Anyway, back to the game. Allen Iverson. I don't know what, if he knows what basketball is. Like, what the heck is he doing? He's done this like 20 times already. It's just, this is the kind of thing that I just hate about 2K. Their sim engine is so unrealistic. Whatever. Uh, well, now Kyrie at the top of the key. I feel like Kyrie's just going to pop a three on his face and then make it. But he doesn't. Wait, wait, what's this? Is 2K being logical? 2K is being logical. It's a miracle, everybody. 2K makes sense for once. Now, I am one of those 2K haters. I love the game, but there's just a few things I just can't get over. Like, I love playing it. I play play now with my friends all the time. I play it alone all the time. I don't really care. I'll play against computers. I'll drop hundreds with Pedro Jokovic. I've dropped 123 with Pedro once. I've had quadruple doubles, almost quintuple doubles. It's a fun game. There's just certain aspects that I can't stand, like this. What on earth are you doing, AI? Like, this is not what Alan would be doing. Like, what the heck? I swear, Ronnie 2K doesn't watch basketball. I mean, like, this would never happen. Ever. And then, look, he has a shot clock violation, really. Yep, that's Allen Iverson for you. Always in those shot clock violations, am I right? <sighs> this is annoying. Anyway, here's Kyrie Irving. I think he's being a little bit more realistic. Not very, but it's better than it was before. Now, Allen Iverson taking it up. Oh, way I dunked. You know, that's another thing. Allen Iverson is more athletic than Kyrie. That's another good reason for why I think he's better. I think... I'm not too sure if Kyrie really beats Allen at anything. Side maybe three-point shooting. But I feel like if AI was on LeBron's team, all of his efficiency ratings would go up so much because he wouldn't have to be doing it all on his own. So that's a main reason. That's one of the main reasons I think that Allen Iverson is better than Kyrie because Allen didn't have the luxury of playing with anyone good. And he was still amazing. But anyway, before I get too controversial, 
Let's get back to the game as Kyrie is missing shot after shot. 2K is learning their lesson because Allen Iverson can defend. He might not be a lockdown defender, but he's not as bad as 2K made him seem. And he's actually finishing pretty well too right now. Now Kyrie posting up Allen. I'm pretty sure Kyrie isn't that much stronger than Allen Iverson. I know AI was skinny though, so I guess I can give I guess I can let that slide. Allen with a tough finish. Oh, he missed. Just short. Kyrie, what the heck is wrong with you? That's what I do in one-on-ones. I wouldn't suggest it. Although occasionally it does work because they don't really guard you right away because they don't really think you're going to shoot that stupid shot. Money. I just don't know why, but I just kind of knew that was going to be money. Kyrie posted up AI. AI. I don't think he was that weak. At least he played good defense, though. I want to see an ankle breaker. Why aren't there any ankle breakers? The 2K said they were going to make ankle breakers a lot harder. They really just meant it has to be a momentum cross to get an ankle Otherwise, nobody ever gets their ankles broken. Although, I kind of like it better. Step backs that get ankle breakers were always so annoying. Like, for real though. Imagine, how many YouTube videos have you seen and where the guy does a snatch back and then breaks ankles? And then... There's like one or two guys that do like insane dribble moves, then get ankle breakers. So for the most part, it's just a bunch of guys spamming behind, spamming snatch backs. We'll sit behind the backs. Anyway, I wish 2K would be a little bit more realistic. I doubt this would happen. And if it would, they, they would have just shot it by now. What, they wouldn't be waiting the whole clock out. That just makes us wait even longer. It makes my video longer, which I'm not totally opposed to, to be honest. But, I mean, it takes longer to process, takes longer to edit, takes longer to put it to YouTube. All because 2K is an idiot. Anyway, I feel like, I feel like this is very unrealistic because it's 2K. But it does give you a good picture of what would happen. Just, you have to take into consideration some of the stuff would be different. Like, I'd imagine there'd be more crossovers and more ankle breakers than this. If not ankle breakers, definitely more crossovers. And that's one thing that always bothers me. You can use, like, the fastest player in the game. You can use, like, John Wall, Russell Westbrook. Put Randy Brewer against them, and in a 1v1, they can't blow past him. Like, what? Randy Brewer is the least athletic player in 2K, if you don't know. He has 25 for everything, and he has, like, 30 strength. So, for some reason, 2K thinks that's good enough to guard John Wall and Westbrook. So, you have to take some of those things in consideration, but it's pretty realistic, I guess. It's good for a video game. Anyway, I'm just going to cut it off here, because it's taking forever, but um, you get the picture. Um, I'm out, GTV viewers. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and tell me who you think would win in real life. Because I'm actually pretty interested. Bye-bye.